As any peaceful revolution unfolds, the outgoing state deploys brute force to create scenes of violence. This violence, in turn, prolongs the need for the outgoing state to provide security to the public. It's a vicious cycle used by tyrants and their replacements to prolong their hold on power. But sometimes, a single video clip or photo montage can steer the public away from this vicious cycle. Who captures this? Rarely the mainstream media, they're too big and too slow. No, it is you, the camera-bearing citizen. We live in a world where the people capture and distribute visual proof directly back to the people. There is no more middleman issuing us half-truths. Think about it. In Egypt, after the state media failed to sedate the masses, Mubarak tried to shut down the internet, but couldn't afford shutting down the whole economy. Within days, social media was flooded with thousands of videos and images from people's cameras so powerful they toppled the 30-year timer in 18 days. Or at the Zuccotti Park eviction, the NYPD locked out the mainstream media a block and a half away, but the people being evicted inside filmed the whole thing. If you want to join these brave shooters and improve your skills, watch this video, or we'll show you how to film a revolution. You have two types of scenes in a revolution, peaceful and violent. Peaceful scenes include civil disobedience, flash mobs, demonstrations, strikes, and so forth. As long as they're peaceful, film however you want, whatever you want. There really are no limits. Soon though, police violence will overrun peaceful protests, and you must now film safely and strategically. Five important rules to remember. Number one, call out for cameras. Get more people over. The more the merrier. Number two, don't film vertically. This is self-explanatory and super frustrating for editors. Number three, keep your distance. You can't film if you are injured or if you break your camera. Number four, protect yourself. Watch out for advanced weaponry, including chemical pepper spray, toxic tear gas, phosphor flash grenades, rubber bullets, wooden batons, sound cannons, and raging horses. Number five, stand up for your rights. Other times you will be at the scene with fellow shooters, so get multicam coverage. Here are three formations you can execute, varying in difficulty. Number one, the fan formation. If the action is surrounding you, stand together, back to back, and film outwards in a fan formation. This will maintain your integrity as a unit within the surrounding chaos. Be conservative with your angles, since you may be the only one filming in that direction. Number two, the surround formation. If the action is in one spot, fan out around it. Don't go too far or you may get split up. Be creative with angles, since there are many of you with overlapping coverage. Number three, the V formation. This is the most risky. If there's a courageous shooter who goes for a crucial close-up shot, trail behind him with some distance, covering his flanks in a V formation. By filming him, you protect him from police because they don't want to be embarrassed by some online viral video. Pull him out of the chaos should he be sucked in. If he's taken out by the police, replace him or back up the braver one who does. These are just a few ideas. The most important thing is to think as a single unit, not a group of individual shooters. Watch each other's backs first and camera angle second. Remember, safety first. For editing, before making a masterpiece, post a low-resolution raw video online for the public account. This should be done as soon as possible. Include filming date, location, and event in the video name. Make it Creative Commons so others can duplicate it, making it harder to take offline. And that wraps up this tutorial. Remember that during a peaceful revolution, every video frame of state violence helps the peaceful. Day by day, our gaze will expand over their plans, tactics, and mistakes. We are in the meetings, classrooms, barracks, parks, ready to capture any abuse of power, meeting Orwell's challenge. Big Brother, we are watching you.